Okay, so tell us, what did we do? We did a tummy tuck and a breast implant. Wow. And how long ago? Uh, 39 days, so six weeks. Six weeks. <laughs> 39, she's counting the days. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah, and so um, how, how was your, your recovery, your experience? My recovery was fast. Um, pain very minor on the beginning, just the first two or three days. After that, I had no medication anymore. Um, I was doing it perfect. I was walking by the um, the next day. I was already walking a mile, just how you told me to. <laughs> and then two to three, and then now I'm still walking normal. Two miles, three sometimes. Wow, so, uh, so minimal pain. Walking one mile the first day, two miles the second day, three miles the third day. And any bruising or bleeding? Um, no bruising, no bleeding. My scar, I'm very happy with it. It's very, um, the scar, you, it's very, like, very light noticeable. You can't really see it. I'm very happy with it. Very, <laughs> you can hide it on a tongue, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a <laughs> lot of my good. friends have told me and have been impressed on how easy I recovered, how fast, um, the, what's it called? The, um, the little tubes? Drains. Oh, the drains. Yeah, yeah, how fast the drains came out. And I told them, well, I had no bleeding, so... <laughs> Exactly. So no bleeding. Exactly. That's it. And one more thing. This lady had the first ever in the world ideal implant placed through the belly button. So an ideal implant is an implant that has all the benefits of saline. Um, in other words, is it, if it breaks, uh, you know immediately because it deflates, right? So that's an advantage. Um, but also has the advantage of silicone because silicone uh, feels best. In other words, when you, when you feel, when you palpate uh, a silicone breast implant, it feels very natural. It's almost very difficult to see if there is an implant there, even for a doctor. Uh, but in this case, this implant also feels very natural. It also feels similar to silicone but has the advantages of the saline as well. So it's, it's, an, it's called an ideal implant. And I wanna make sure that people understand that this implant has been around for a long time, number of years, and it, it can be placed uh, via many ways, right? Through the nipple, inframammary fold, and, and through the armpits. And, but this is the first time that a surgeon has been able to put this type of implant through the belly button because this implant is, is bulky. It's a little, you know, it's got some structure to it. And so uh, she had the first, first world trans umbilical ideal implant. And uh, we were able to do that on November 5th of 2021 uh, here at the Cosmetic Surgical Center of Osorito. And if you look at her, her implants are still a little high, um, you know, because it's been only like six weeks or so. So they will continue to drop uh, as the tissues relax. Um, this is not the final result, but when you palpate her breasts, they feel very, very natural. And she's very happy. Is that, is that right? Oh yeah, very happy. I'm awesome. very happy. I don't have to wear bras. <laughs> well, I don't want to. Awesome. And we'll show you the before and after photos. Thank you.